In today's video, I'm playing the Convergence mod, but I am only using the Blood Flame spells. These spells are extremely powerful and super fun to play with. With that being said, like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Let's begin. So my goal is to do every single one of these because I find these to be super cool, right? So I think what we're going to go for is potentially the uh, Blood Initiate. Um, and then we're going to do... Let's go Enchanted and see what happens. And let's just get started. So I'm noticing we have a few spells. We have Blood Seeker, Blood Flame... What the? Wait, that's actually... Okay, Blood Flame Talons. Wait, whoa, that is fast. Siphon the Formless. Okay, I don't know what exactly that is, but that sounds sick. And then Bloodseeker. Oh, this is going to be a fun playthrough. I can already tell. I have to defeat Moog. That is my, my rule for myself. And then this is just going to give me... Oh, it gives me Blood Flame Blade as well. I don't think I had that before. But I will check it while we're at it. Let's try this. Oh, so is it like... It seems to give me like Swarm of Flies, but like different form of flies but longer range the only thing i can say is i'm not very impressed with the damage but we'll see what happens oh that's a little bit better blood flame blade okay and then with one of these i should have done like a ton of posture damage there we go that's kind of what i was expecting there we'll go ahead and use siphon here oh no Uh oh okay wait i got it though right barely it was very close but we get it you're not an intellectual you're a fake and a fraud can i backstab you okay we'll switch over to blood flame talons Ooh, not bad damage okay my sustain is actually pretty pretty crazy as long as i'm careful Okay, I'm not a fan of that move to get off me, to be fair, but... Ooh, that's a huge bleed proc. Here we go again. Oh my god, these guys are honestly really hard. Yeah. I'm waiting to hear that crisp noise. I guess not. And it's stubborn. I did not think it would be that hard. I wonder... I can probably do this. Man, okay, so in certain situations... Oh, you're not normally here, are you? You're not gonna bother me, right? I do not care about you. Thank you. Mission complete. I do need more memory stones. That's one problem I'm having right now. Okay, that was quite easy. All right, so we should be able to just run through here. I'm going to hit him with this. I'm actually not the biggest fan of this one. We're gonna go ahead and hit him with this. Wow, look how fast that lead proc hit. That's insane. Oh yeah, this build is absolutely nuts. Like, look at that. Oh my God, it's just a slaughter. Rune of Lightning, we'll use it, but don't really have much intention of doing anything else with it. And then we're gonna open up with one of these. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, fighting these guys, kind of hard. Like, I just wish you would kind of sit a little bit more still. Okay, I would like to speed up this fight, but you're kind of making it difficult because of your play style. Kind of lost him for a moment there, but it's all good. Barricade shield. Oh, Knight Rider flail. I mean, I still think that this dagger is the way. I could go ahead and try to get Reduvia as well and just stack like bleed daggers. Although the range is, will be really bad. But at the same time, still, that's really strong. Okay, so for you, you do sell a memory stone. And then the rest, I don't think I necessarily need. I'll take the lantern while we're at it. The only other thing I want to do while we're here is just try to upgrade my weapon a little bit. I'm not really using my seal very much in terms of like casting spells that are like non-buffs at the moment. So uh, I can maybe skip out on that, or maybe I should just try to do it a little bit, a little bit of both. 
I want to get uh, revenge on this guy. And we're going to go ahead and do the uh, the good old stuff. God, that attack is so sick, man. It's hard, but it's so cool. You're dead. You're dead, dude. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Jesus. Okay, so I think my next destination is going to be uh, patches because I want to do the invasion so I can get the Reduvia. I can't quite recall if I have the stats for it just yet. I think if I use my um, my physic, I can probably get by with it. There we go. Reduvia. Now, I do have the stats. Thick. And now we can double, which should really help us. I mean, we'll be doing lots of damage here. Perfect. We are all set for the fight. Yup, that seems very bounced. Oh, he's, they slowed that attack down. That's quite nice. Oh, they slowed that attack down too. Interesting. Okay, I feel like my bleed is definitely falling off a bit here. He does have the debuff again, so hopefully he'll take more damage there. Oh, wow. Maybe I lied. I think I just need to keep Blood Flame Blade up and then the, the debuff. Faint Relic. Oh, this could be the boss. It is. All right, let's just do it. This has got to be it. Oh, okay. I'm not a big fan of these guys. Oh, whoa. I do not know his moveset. There we go. Not bad at all. I'm imagining it's got to be right here. Yup. And we got that, that weapon, which I've never used before, but I know what it does. So that could be something to look into. But right now, I'm enjoying the dual wield life. Blood Boon slash pool outburst. Oh my god. Okay, we got to check these out now. I'm pretty sure one of those is the like an enchantment of some sort, and the rest are probably not. So 100% of total HP and stamina at the cost of HP. By at least 25% of total HP... But I get a full FP bar. Stamina doesn't really matter, to be honest. But that is quite cool. Then we have inst or slash open to rift, send a projectile dealing. Okay. What the? Hold up. We got to check this out. This sounds interesting. Okay. Hey, what the? Okay. I don't know how I feel about that one. If the damage is good, then maybe it's maybe it's good, you know, but it depends violently rip bl blood from the body of your foe in front of you and pull it into your own dealing damage to the enemy and restoring 15 percent of total hp upon impact and then create a large out dealing damage and causing bleeding okay let's just check out these um so let's go ahead and i think i have to do this what is this is this just an aoe Ooh. okay and then what about this one angeling pool Oh, wait, hold on. That's cool. I thought it was going to be like a grab. Uh, let's test on somebody. Okay, so we, we go in. We want to go ahead and do this. Then we want to go ahead and do... We'll do... Spawn him in. Hit him with that. And then I think I do... Okay, what about this? Oh my god, that is a lot of damage. Okay, so the only problem, so to speak. Oh, that's such a good spell. Oh my god. And then do we do this? Okay, so now we just got a full FP bar again. I'm getting kind of destroyed, but it's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and just do this. This is so cool. It's such a cool play style. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like just very dynamic. Like, I feel like I'm switching between going, like, I'm switching between two different play styles, and I find that to be quite fun. I don't know. It just feels like it, it all makes sense. There's a lot of, like, synergy or, like, I, I don't know if I would say strategy, but there's definitely, like, a lot of, like, synergy and stuff that's going on here that I find to be quite cool. Okay, I threw, but it's fine. Man, this is cool. I'm really liking this. Like, it all just, like, synergizes so well. Like, oh my god. While I'm here, I kind of want to try a little bit of a fight out. Uh, I don't typically go over here to do this fight, but I want to see if I can do it. 
might actually give me a good amount of runes as well but we should be able to do this unless they change who it is no okay it's it's the good old guy and we're basically good to go i think um why don't we do as long as he's sitting in it that's basically a huge win oh my god yeah this is insane uh what we'll do wait for that do this one two full health again another one of these here we go beautiful that gives me a super good opening for that that's kind of insane we get anything cool oh a hair loom remnant honestly that's pretty worth it if you ask me okay and then the nice thing that I, what i can do is i'm going to go ahead and chug this and then i use this to, to get full fp then i use this to go ahead and get what else i think i'll do boiling blood into the good old uh outburst there we go we have enough mana we can go ahead and outburst it on the way back up yep that was pretty easy underworld dagger causes frost build up um this one scales with int and face oh you know what i kind of realized we might be using our stats kind of wrong somewhat oh wow this doesn't even scale with arcane i'm a dummy oh it's because it, i put it on death i need to switch that okay we're fine Okay, we're gonna open up with this he does have different moves so it's going to be a little bit harder than it normally would be but it's not that bad he, that's the only thing that's weird is that his uh animations are kind of like sped up and stuff oh my god that is so much damage uh i will go ahead and do this oh i got a stagger dead nice pretty smooth i think that the the second keystone can be found from radon radon rykard and estelle maybe another one there we go okay i'm gonna go ahead and change up the spells that we're using because i just don't want to like continuously use you know these ones that i'm currently using so why don't we get rid of the replenishment and put on the iphon and then i think we'll get rid of this one which is cool and put on the ray now we have this one which is just a siphon for life which is quite nice and then we have spray which is just like a oh my god that covers it that is so good actually seems good to me so we still have a way to like regen ourselves and everything so we're pretty much good man outburst is insane like it just spreads it so much that it's just so helpful and we did it that took a long time not gonna lie like that dungeon process is pretty cool but it takes a while we gotta go ahead and go against this little uh custom boss here it's actually kind of difficult we're gonna open up with the good old boiling blood and go. okay no backstabs good to know oh that's so cool oh what the god that's so cool uh oh god that's so cool dude okay and it's so cool that he blocks as well and then they just pop in oh my god okay i'm thinking first try here let me get a blood flame on you and then it's over man I hate how delayed those attacks are, man. Wait, whoa, that, that, that actually like cancels out damage. All right, here we go. Oh, God. I'm actually kind of getting destroyed. I'm not going to lie. Cool, let's go. That was kind of scary, actually. That was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I definitely feel pretty rusty on that fight. Not lie to you. Oh, you're not sneaky, man. You're just two. Okay, that was really well done. I can't lie. Oh, how fitting. This has got to be where I get the thing from. Has to be. If I can do this real fast, 
and then quickly Ooh, that's bad okay it's fine that's a good trade oh kind of hurts man we are strong and rune 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 come on yes shimmering rune of blood flow outer realms gift hex of moog blood flame missile blood flame scatter oh my god this is gonna be sick and what does this lead to this is gonna lead to moog isn't it oh that's so cool dude go ahead and check out our new spells so attune your body with the realm of the formless increasing all fire damage you deal by five percent and restoring eight hp per second last for two minutes quickly fire a spray of flaming blood before you dealing damage and causing bleeding be caught okay cast in rapid sleep. and then there was that one i already had and there's hex rapid foe can cause a continuous bleed to build up for 80 for 80 seconds okay and then what is this one that detonates upon impact dam dealing damage causing bleed. okay so if i go ahead and use this can i use all of them okay here we go so blood flame missile Oh my god, wait, hold on. Holy, okay. That's kind of nuts. And then the last one... Wow, this is sick. Okay, there's a lot of decisions to be made here. Blood Flame Blade. I want Replenishment. I want Boiling Blood first. Um, probably this one. And probably this one. Boiling blood, and then there's the hex thing that we need to do as well. Oh, whiffed it. Hex. Now we have continuous buildup of bleed. I do not have practice on this boss. This will probably be the hardest one. I also do not have the the one that gives us uh, or prevents us from taking a bunch of damage during his phase transition. I mean, I guess I could play this like this, but I'd like to get some real damage in. Uh-oh. No, I played that bad. Okay, we might need to switch it up a bit. Okay, we're also going to switch armors. So we have the, the noble armor now, which should it actually gives us HP regen and increases our fire damage. So I guess that makes sense. All right, about time. I think that we can do this. I can try. I hope. Okay. It's just such an awkward fight. I seem to get good though. Okay. What? Oh no. Okay. I, I gotta. I gotta figure something out. Jesus. Man. 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 No, okay, we come back. We upgrade, we come back. You've won for now, Moog. All right, get another memory stone. And then now, I guess we could go ahead and do more gods. All right. Oh, we're a lot closer than usual. I do know that his attacks are kind of sped up and stuff, I think. So it's going to be a little harder than usual, but we'll figure it out. There we go. X. There. Boiled. Oh, and damn, so easy. And that's the fourth keystone. So right now, this is, we're kind of doing an awkward route now that I think of it, because that's the fourth one. We don't have the second one. And then the third one, that, or yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Long story short, we're going in a really weird order. All right, we're back on Moog. No, I know I can do this. That's so annoying, it ran out. All right, back to Fire Giant, because apparently I'm having trouble with Moog. Oh my God, that's a lot of damage. Wow, I think we figured it out. Uh, we should be able to just, oh, that works too. Sick, that took a while. Okay, 180K plus Remembrance. So now I suppose we can go ahead and try to upgrade our stuff a bit. Okay, so we're getting dagger to plus nine, and then we might be able to get our seal upgraded eventually. All right, this is the one. 
Oh man. Okay. Okay. I think this is it. Oh, he's done. So, Blood Rain, Neil, Blood Packs, Hidden Mother's Blessing. Okay, well, Neil is already gonna be amazing. I can already know, tell you that. Blood Rain, open a portal to the above your head, which rains flaming blood upon enemies. And then we have Neil, Kjur, and Pierce the Formless, instantly dealing damage and bleeding all enemies in a large area around you while simultaneously restoring your HP. We have this one. It's an innocent enchantment. All non spell fire damage you deal lowers your FP by 80%. When bleeding occurs in your vicinity, you are healed by 50%. Oh my god. Increase all fire damage you deal by 5%. Grant HP recovery per second, FP recovery per second, and grants immunity to all bleed. Got it. Okay, so I think that I already have what I want to do. Bluttering. Oh my god. That's amazing. And then Neil. So our FP is significantly reduced, but this only thing you're left to do is to probably switch weapons. Do a quick test with these new spells, by the way. So first off, we'll start with Blood Rain. That's pretty cool. Now the real one that I want to check out. Oh my god. Holy, okay, that is crazy good. I love it. All right, that was well worth it. Should be good. Open up with X down. That's so sick. X into this one. Ooh, that's huge. Then one of these. Oh. Okay, this fight should be good. I don't think I'm in too much danger here. I say as I'm nearly dying. Heal. Should be free now. I'll finish it off with a kneel. One more. Beautiful. Heirloom. 100k is not bad. And then we open up maybe with Blood Rain. I wonder... Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Wow, that's insane. And our health regen is so good. There we go. Oh, I got a stagger. This is huge. Dara, that's what it's called. Okay, you're dead now. Okay, that was crazy. Did I get hit that fight? I don't know if I did. I feel like everything that I got... Or every damage that I took was self damage. Okay. X. Heal. That's crazy. This build is insane, dude. Heal. These two. Uh, I'm looking for an opportunity. Be like right here. Wow, I'm surprised he hasn't done his uh his thing yet. There it is. That's such a sick attack, man. Not bad. Such a fun fight, dude. Like, so fun. All right. We're here. All right. I just love this. In case you haven't seen this, just watch the beauty of this. It's... I cannot believe that that's possible. I feel like modding like kind of just got started and people are already able to make stuff like that that's just oh man i can't catch a break with this guy oh i'm still alive more health more health i have to play this so slow i feel well the good news is that this will probably be the hardest fight so if i can do this one i basically have already beat the mod okay I like how this fight's going. We just need to keep it up. Oh my god. Okay, apparently that fight was only four minutes, but that felt like forever. Okay, so this is the spells that we're using. It's basically just boiling blood, the hex, kneel, um, 
Blood Flame Blade and Blood Rain. And then what we're also going to do is to get the fire attack here. And I will also get the... You know what? I don't typically use this, but let's just try using that. So for talismans, you basically want to just convert all the way to fire damage. We are ready. So I'm really just worried about horror loot. That's the scary part of this. Everything else, chill. Not even worth. Blood. Ow. Not a fantastic way to start off the fight. Fine. Okay. I'm getting kind of kind of sloppy with it. All right. Okay. We are doing okay. He's kind of confused. He's going to do his dive. Perfect. Okay. Wow. That could have not been better with that phase transition. The like 2.5 uh, phase transition came in clutch there. He just sat in my blood rain. Wasn't really intentional, but I will gladly take it. I think we're ready. I don't think there's really anything to change here. Elden Beast doesn't get bled, but he does. Well, I mean, he'll take damage to the, the blood rain. That's not too bad. Okay, I cannot get anything off there. Noted. Okay. I feel like the camera is really wonky right now. Could just be me though. Okay, I need to find a way to actually do damage. Oh, whoa. Okay, so the, some of that is sped up for sure. Okay, my damage kind of sucks here. Like it's not the worst that it could be, but it's by far from the best. See if we can boiling blood him for the finish. And it's over. Oh, that kind of lags the, the frames, but it's over. And the Elden Stars finish. Oh, that was kind of in sync. That was kind of, kind of sick. Let's go. So I'm looking at my recording time right now, and it says that I've been recording for 12 minutes. So Radagon and Elden Beast took me nearly 12 minutes to defeat. That is insane. But with that being out of the way, it is done. Overall, this playthrough was a lot of fun. I'd probably rate it like an 8.5 out of 10. Most of the spells were pretty useful, and I liked the synergies that were created by the spells. Let's go. We did it. Blood Flame Convergence mod playthrough complete. Plenty more to come, so make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.